Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ajshram Malyala. In this particular video, I am going to give you a preparation strategy for JE mains 2022. So you, you guys are left with another 25 to 30 days for your preparation. So what exactly you have to do in this 25 to 30 days so that you can keep yourself in a good position. So like you can prepare well, which implies getting good marks, which implies getting good percentile, which implies getting good rank, which implies getting into a good college. So that's how it is, right? So let's get into the video without taking much time. I have collaborated with IQ Arena platform where you can give mock tests and earn cash rewards. So all you have to do is just install the app from Google Play Store or App Store. And after installing the register there, you'll be getting 10 rupees instant bonus. I mean, refer, I mean, joining bonus. So use that 10 rupees and enroll for an exam, which I'm going to conduct tomorrow. So like every week I'm conducting exam there for JE mains 2022 kind of mock test so based on your rank in that particular test you will be getting cash rewards again so use that 10 rupees which you got as a joining bonus for joining tomorrow's exam which is physics full course tomorrow 29th March on 5th April chemistry full course and on 12th April you will be having full course like maths physics chemistry 3 hours continuous exam JE mains pattern like objective plus integers everything will be there so based on the ranks you get in this exam you are going to get cash prizes it's a good option right and you can use that money for enrolling for other exams which will in orderly you are earning cash and you are testing your preparation you are getting the exp experience of exam so everything is under one shell so try to utilize this opportunity links in the description so like first and foremost like what I wanted to say is like first be in yourself so like you can do anything it's not that you can't do anything uh, you can do anything just believe in yourself have a self-confidence if you don't have self-confidence that's that, that will tend you to degrade yourself and that will in orderly i mean ruin your whole preparation so just keep in the mind that if you don't have self-confidence your two years of time will be of no use it will go waste okay so start your day with meditation and excess to get energized the whole day so it will help you to concentrate on your study so just uh, have a habit of doing meditation at least for 15 minutes in the start of the day early morning uh, or exercise so that will keep you focused towards your studies and second thing is make your schedule for short period for example if you take three hours so follow a pomodoro technique here so pomodoro sessions so pomodoro sessions is of 30 minutes in which like for 25 minutes you will be studying or you will be working on whatever uh, target you have today to cover and take five minutes break so after 25 minutes take five minutes break again 25 minutes take five minutes break so follow the time properly and strictly so don't waste even single minute so if you do this no so you will be balancing your mental stress also so that won't uh, let you to distracted from the exams i mean from the preparation and all so try to follow this pomodoro technique so let me just give you some uh, brief idea about uh, jm as once so like you will be having maths total of 16 chapters and physics 21 chapters chemistry 28 chapters total overall 66 chapters so you are left with another 25 days let's say so even if you cover one chapter at least one day from now on you can easily cover almost all every chapter but some guys many majority of the guys will not cover each and every chapter so some chapters they may leave uh, even if they get the question they will they are like i don't want to attempt those questions so if you take out those chapters so you will be like able to cover whole syllabus in 20 days properly so every day uh, you need to divide the time equally for all the three subjects i'll talk about that so you know guys uh, 21st 24 25 29 and first and fourth are the scheduled dates for je mains 2022 so like they will be connecting the session one after that session two so as of now dates are uh, already given you can just check in the website so these are the total number of chapters so now what you have to do is like you have another 25 to 30 days what you have to do is divide the time equally for three three subjects equally so divide your 24 hours into two four parts first is sleep seven hours and study 11 hours and miscellaneous work eating or uh, meditation or uh, i mean doing daily routine and all three hours so you guys can utilize this however you want you have 10 hours here for sleep and food and everything uh, bathing everything and all so 10 hours it's up to you how you decide and how you divide and the second thing is revision or test three hours okay so like you are study you are having a study hours of 11 hours so if if you want you if you don't want to write every day uh, test every day just take one hour here and keep it in the study hour make it 12 so that will become four hours four hours four hours each for all the three subjects or else if you want to give a test in that case 11 hours only you will be having so you can do uh, remaining hours for revision or test it's up to you how you utilize your time so you should be having proper idea clear cut idea what you are going to do on that day on that time so which topic everything so i'll be talking about that yeah, 
regular batch for class 11th and 12th uh, JE mains and advanced 2024 and for 2022 batch quick concept of revision batch it's starting from 30th March it's a kind of crash course for all those who are preparing for JE 2022 so these are all the fa faculty like Livinth Lumba Prasant Jain Neil Mani Mistri Vastu early level batch for 2023 these are all the faculty who's going to take that batch if you guys wanted to join any of these three batches links in the description and you can use my code Charan YT for which you will be getting 10% insta discount on all subscriptions of an academy an academy light all India online test series for IDJ means and advanced so based on the marks you get the, those are the percentiles so you can know where you stand so you can take up to 23 tests for 2022 JE and 48 tests for 2023 IIT JE so this is subscription is starting from triple nine rupees so you can subscribe now using the link in the description and my referral code Charan YT so IDJ Super 30 test series top quality questions created by top educators full and final revision for JE 2022 every week 50 lucky winners will get surprise gifts so these are 30 minutes 15 questions like starting from 28th March 29th March and 30th March 3 days at 6 p.m. Uh, main important thing is like test series so test series or uh, mock test so must be attempted in order to remember concepts and get an idea of your strengths and weaknesses so when you write a test and check what happened or how many how, don't don't just like I mean check the score and keep throw that paper away you have to check where you made right answers where you made wrong answers so why you made if you, if you analyze that so you are going to understand in which topic you are strong and in which topic you are weak so like for the next 10 days or 12, 15 days you can focus on those weaknesses if you want to rectify those mistakes in the next exam or else if you don't want to just touch them just keep them aside and just focus on your strengths it's up to you okay so you are left with another 25 days of your uh, JE preparation right so try to write exam on Monday and give a gap for two days and write an exam on Thursday and give a gap for two days and write an exam on Thursday Sunday. So in this way, if you write for every three days, if you write one test, you will be almost writing somewhere around 10 tests. So 10 tests is a not simple thing. You will be easily, uh, you can improve your score by at least uh, 25 to 30 marks. 25 to 30 marks is not, a, it's not going to be a simple thing. So that is going to be x factor for all of you who write the mock test so do try to write the mock test so if you ask me where you to write where you should write the mock test so anyhow i am conducting some mock tests on iq arena you can use them you can write uh, previous year papers if you didn't solve the pyqs earlier or else if you have any book separately for mock test you can utilize this whatever way you can but try to write the mock test every three days or every two days it's up to your wish but i suggest writing give a gap of for two days and write one exam gap for two days and write one exam so follow this so second thing is like attempt the questions of JE mains level and analyze your attempt in every test you write so do, don't just see the score and throw the throw that aside make sure you analyze where you are right where you are wrong where you are strong where you are weak so if you an analyze this so if you try to rectify your mistakes learn from your mistakes as well as learn from others mistakes too if you rectify your mistakes so you will be able to score some more marks in the next exam so like that if every exam if you do analysis and uh, just rectify your mistakes so your score keeps on increasing so that will be helpful at the end right make sure you write the mock test as well as make sure you analyze it mock test can be one hour mock test three hours mock test but i suggest so as the exam dates are nearby i suggest go for three hours test rather than sitting for one hour or something like that go for three hours test so make your mind addicted to the particular exam mode okay so you shouldn't uh, you should focus on the exam for the three hours for sure at a stretch your mind should not deviate so if you write mock test one thing what you learn you learn time management where you are strong and weak and you will also come to know how you need to uh, attempt the paper like from where to start and which question to start how to select the questions everything you will be training your mind in order to write that exam final exam properly so if you write the mock test these are all the advantages so make sure you write the mock test so the focus should be on the selective study so it's like kind of a smart work first attempt all the easy easy topics and build your confidence okay then move on to the top tougher topics so that's how it is the next thing what you have to do is try and complete your syllabus as soon as possible and then try to solve previous year papers so at least last 15 years papers if you have time if you don't have time at least 2019 20 21 papers so pakka you need to solve if the chapter is carrying less weightage and uh, you feel that you are not able to complete it on time or it may be it's difficult then you can avoid the topic keep on revising whatever you study on daily basis it's not like if you study today do, don't i mean tomorrow morning what you have to do is today night once go through whatever you have studied today whatever you have solved today just like that one hour for one hour and tomorrow morning also once again just go through whatever you have studied yesterday if so if you keep on revising this this way so that will 
मेक यूर माइंड टू नोट एवरी थिंग इच एंड एवरी थिंग इन द माइंड सो यू नॉट फॉर्गेट एनी थिंग यू शुड ऑल्सो ईट गुड एंड हेल्थी फूड टेक केयर ऑफ योर मेंटल एंड फिजिकल हेल्थ सो यू शुड नॉट टेक एनी शॉर्ट ऑफ अनेसेसरी प्रेजर एंड एनी हाउ यू हैव टू गिव यूर बेस्ट शॉर्ट राइट सो मेक ए प्रॉपर शेड्यूल फॉर थ्री सब्जेक्ट्स सो हाउ यू नीड टू मेक ए प्रॉपर शेड्यूल सो आई हैव सेड यू नीड टू डिवाइड योर टाइम इन टू फोर इक्वल पार्ट्स सो इन स्टडी टाइम रिविजन टाइम फूड आई मीन स्लीप एंड एवरीथिंग राइट सो इन दैट लाइक कीप डेली टारगेट्स सो ऑन दैट डे ऑन विच सब्जेक्ट you have to do like which which time you need to do so like 8 to 1 what you have to do 8 to 12 9 to 12 3 2 to 5 3 to 5 3 to 6 9 to 1 9 to 12 so it's up to you which your time is okay for you just follow that but make sure you give at least 11 to 12 hours of preparation and two hours for two or three hours for revision or mock test so rest all sleeping food snanam all those things just after completing this watching this video make sure you create your own schedule once so sit for one hour and prepare your own schedule what you have to do that day how many questions you wanted to do from where you wanted to do i mean which subject which topic uh, which everything you need to make a list of each and everything if you sit for one hour properly you can easily make it i mean make a good schedule for yourself which will help you to score as much as you can compared to others okay so i'm saying openly proper schedule proper daily targets will help you to score good marks second thing is like how to revise jee mains mathematics so first understand and remember the formula uh, remember the steps to solve the problem some some steps i mean some kind of problems will be having a separate uh, way of solving it so you need to so when you will remember those kind of things is the more you practice those kind of questions the the more you remember so that's what the point is find out which are the important chapters and practice as many as problems from those chapters as you can when solving problem problems keep a track of time so that you are able to calculate the speed and accuracy do not use calculators while solving the sums solve the sums manually okay so these are the chapters where you can focus uh, for mathematics so i felt these are the some important chapters uh, so that you important chapters first focus on them then focus on rest others i am not saying if you prepare this you will be getting into nit iit what i am saying is first try to focus on these chapters try to complete these as many of these as many as you can and then go for the rest other chapters so these are kind of in important chapters from our previous analysis and when it comes to physics how you need to study physics go through every single concept and topic as fast as possible from your notes to ensure you understand them in case a certain concept or topic is not clear then go to the textbook so if you don't have notes try to borrow a notes take a xerox of your uh, friends or something like that it is not suggestible but you guys didn't have your own notes from the start of the 11th standard right so that's that was your mistake you should make your own notes actually so if you still don't have notes use others or if you have a handbook use that or any it's up to you whatever you use if it is not clear then go for textbook and uh, just clear that make sure you are able to visualize the various mechanisms and processes so like physics is kind of uh, topic where you need to uh, use your mind a lot so you need to understand you should visual visualize everything then only you will be able to get near to the solution okay make a note of all the topics from each and every chapter and uh, important topics all the important topics from each and every chapter practice and remember the formula equations and practice their applications it's not that if you just remember the formula you will get to you will easily solve the problem you should also understand what is its application where you need to use that formula and how to use that formula if you know that only you will be able to use the formula which you know right if you don't know application of the formula there is no use of learning the formula right go through the steps and to solve the problems so these are some important concepts of uh, physics where you can focus first and after completing these chapters focus on the rest okay and the second thing is like final thing is like chemistry make sure you understand all the topics of uh, all the concepts of organic inorganic and physical chemistry study and revise ncert syllabus from class 11th and 12th thoroughly okay understand practice remember the concept formulae and reaction mechanisms this is ma main important thing for organic chemistry spend more time on organic chemistry as there are so many reactions so mainly don't miss the named reactions at all first focus should be named reactions in organic chemistry list out all the named reactions make sure you know the mechanism make sure you know the reagents in the exam this they will give a b and a reagent so based on the reagent which is present on the arrow mark you should be able to understand okay this is the so and so reaction for example if you find ch2cl2 it is what riemann tieman reaction so that's how you need to remember these are the chapters like uh, this is of uh, 
organic chemistry and this is of inorganic chemistry and this is of physical chemistry so you can just uh, first cover all of these then go for other chapters okay so that's it for this video guys uh, just follow properly whatever i have said in this video so i am sure you will easily cross 180 if you pro follow each and everything properly what i have said in this video so that's it for this video guys if you find this is a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind